What do we got? What do we got? We got a new one from Savivi. And it's a button lock. And it's a flipper. And it's super fidget friendly. And my camera's too damn low to the... I mean, I got no room. Come on, back up, back up, back up. Okay. There you go. This is the Conspirator Deep Carry Pocket Clip. Left hand, right hand. You can do both. No backspacer. Open design. Here's your standoffs. This one has Damascus. Okay. Made in the uh, 1000 or the 11th century. So it's true Damascus. I got people like, well, it's not real Damascus. Oh, well, it's... It's definitely a mix of metals folded together, okay? I don't know what your definition of a Damascus is, but uh, that's kind of how this one rolls down. So, and I think this is a stainless Damascus. It's primarily maybe a 9CR18. You'll have to get in touch with Seth, the Wee Knife uh, representative in the U.S. and or with we slash Savivi people to find that out. But that was my understanding. So stainless Damascus, or you can get it in Nitro V. And, and mine's the most expensive one at 96 before discount. White Mountain Knives, LTK, 10% discount. So $9.60 off. So this would be in the 80s, right? Okay. That's that black hand rubbed finish, and here's your stats. It's basically three and a half inch blade, eight inches overall. They've been doing most of their knives. If they're the big knife, if they're a big knife, they've been doing them three and a half inch, eight inch overall. Okay. And here's the rest of your stats here. And it's an in-house design, 3.72 ounces, button lock, ambidextrous carry. And this is green micarta tip up only and you can see the others here uh you can get black micarta and this is just a regular gray blade at not gay blade gray blade 79.90 10 percent off 10 percent off and you can get green micarta with the nitro v in black you can get the whatever it is the kaborsha wood whatever it is however it's um you know pronounced nitro v blade okay or mr big expensive man mr fancy boy that's what i am i'm mr fancy boy cool looking knife it's pretty lightweight it's one of their bigger ones the last one i did was a small button lock folder and the one before then was more like this size and i'll put the names down here because i forget the name right off the bat but conspirator this is what it says on the box okay so this is like the third and i was talking to seth at the texas blade show just a few days ago and he said yeah this is i said this is the biggest one that you guys have put out as a uh, button lock folder and he goes yeah uh it is and so I said, you know, where's the four and a half inch blade version? And he goes, what, what, what? So, guess that's not coming anytime soon. Oh, oh, it just arrived. Breaking news. Here's the new Tucson Civivi. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Okay, but this is button lock. This is the size I was asking about, but no, eh, nah, hell with that. That's a Tucson Vandal. Oh, by the way, so Elementum. And the Elementum looks smaller, doesn't it? Kick it around. Let's take a look. Is it really smaller? No, it's the exact same damn size. It is. It's three and a half inch blade, eight inches overall. Bingo, bango. Only, only, you know, this blade is taller. Uh, it looks bigger, you know, as you see it. Um, Elementum... You know, it, like I said, it's it's button lock, so it doesn't have the the extra flipper, whatever. Fun. So, I mean, if you like the idea of a flipper button lock, so you can do it like the Elementum, like this, but you can also flip it if you want. And, you know, this cutaway here, fuller, whatever you want to call it, 
you know, you can finger flick. So you can do it with a thumb as well. So, yeah, it's, it's a good thing. And it comes in a box like this if you're not familiar with Civivi and which side did I open it on? I figure I might as well only open it on one side. And there's no point in opening both. Holy smokes. What do we got? That's a pretty decent size uh, microfiber cloth. I mean, you know, but of course, mine was more expensive, but it doesn't matter. You get the $79 model, you get the same deal. And uh, then you go, look it. They're going to give you the regular Elementum, not the button lock, and a sticker. It comes in plastic, and you get your uh, paperwork. So you get the whole shebango in the pouch. Says Civivi. I like their knives. I think Wee Knife does a really good job uh, make, making knives, so no question. Uh, they're, they're aces up. As far as in the budget knife category with Civivi and Sencut, I like them. I like them really good. Um, I think they're, they're there with anyone, and maybe if you had to just choose one, what would you choose? Maybe Civivi. A lot of models out there. Yeah, 3.8. So what'd they say? 3.79. Okay, we can go with that. Um, <clears throat> ounces and then grams. 107. Woo. Woo. I thought it'd be under 100, but I guess not. Now, throw the tape on it because I think we'll just have to prove you to it on the size. Come on. Get a hold. Three and a half, dead on, 90 millimeters. Eight inches overall, 20 and a half centimeters. And let's get the calipers out here. Okay, are we at zero? Okay, we're at zero. 13.1, which is 0.5, half, half inch. Pretty, pretty standard fare. 0.11, about three millimeter. Yeah, three millimeter blade. So that's what we got. Three millimeter blade stock. Will it cut anything? And that's a damn good question. And let's uh, see if I can pull up one piece of paper, please. One piece. Okay. Yeah. Cut this baby in half. There you go. Thank you. Yeah. Now, where were we? Okay. All right. Yeah, we're, uh, we're reasonably sharp out of the box. Civivi does a good job with that, too. Uh, it's centered up, okay? Uh, no play there necessarily, although, you know, the detent's not all that big a deal because it's flipper crazy, man, and you got to be able to kick it out like this, and you got to be able to jump it out like that. So very light detent as far as that goes. Just like that. It's not tough. So maybe a 3.7 on my detent scale. Definitely not in the fours or fives. But this just makes it uh, the way it should be, really. I mean, it should be able to be flipped and fidgeted with, that kind of thing. That's what it's all about with this. And, you know, good cutting. Ergos are nice. I mean, this is straight on and... I like this handle. This handle shape was, oh God, the relic seems very, and this is not far off of that kind of straight shape of the banter as well. Um, so a lot of good with that. And then they've done some sculpting here for comfort. Uh, reverse grip is also comfortable here. Uh, you know, like I said, deep carry. This slides in and out of the pocket really nice. You got flat headed screws here, so you got nothing interrupting the lip of your pocket going in and out. And then you've got number eight hardware on here as well. So, you know, you just need one Torx wherever, wherever my one number eight Torx is. Except I think these screws, I don't know if they ever went to a nut. Nah, they're a number six. They're a number six. So it, it, it's light. It's very nimble. 
Uh, I like the design. I like the blade design. Don't you like the swedge coming down here? The tip's not that fragile. It feels pretty solid. There's no play here. And there's jimping up here as well. So you can get out on this. You see this? You've got an area if you needed to kind of creep up forward and get up on this jimping. You could do it. You could do it for real fine work if you needed to. But yeah, um, it's a small enough knife. You really can stay back here and just kind of get with it as you wish. All right, let's see if we can uh, take this baby apart. And I think, well, I guess it's obvious I got to come from the back side. Let's start with a pocket clip and the number sixes that we got here. And we're out. Okay, the long one goes through the standoff there, I guess, and the short one into the liner. So we're good there. And let's get my number eight over here and do the pivot and the body screws. There's the pivot. And we got one body screw. And that's it. And of course, uh, let's put this over here. There's the body screw that's not falling out easily, so to heck with it. And there's a spring that came out of here. So uh, we got no internal screws. So we've got the skeletonized liner and we've got our little lanyard piece here. So that's what we got there. This is the presentation side. So let's put this back on the button lock side, I guess is what we'll call it. And uh, pull everything apart. And here we have the pivot which uh, obviously on the underside it has a little machined area there sits down on a little hump here that uh, okay it catches that so it won't turn when you disassemble it skeletonized liner your standoffs okay uh, your stop blade stop your ceramic bearings okay and your button, spring, we're all good. All right, let's took it back together and there's the pivot, pivot, pivot. Turn it around till it, ah, there it goes, kicks down, mates up. Uh, and then we've got bearings. We've already got our liner attached there. And of course we have the button and we have oh let's let's put this blade on before we do anything and you know what let's put some lube on the bearings before we put the blade on so let's do this and make sure we get the blade under that button now that we've got that, then let's put this stop in here. Because otherwise, I think the stop can interfere with you putting that blade on and getting it under that button. I mean, I, I think I've encountered that before. Okay, now, uh, just a drop of go-go juice here. And then we need to get this... Uh, we don't have to put that in there yet, though. We can put this, and of course, we've got our little lanyard thing that we didn't pull out. Uh, but everything should go here, okay? Then before we put the micarta on, we need to go ahead and put the spring on. And then we should be able to 
just whoops <laughs> wrong okay there we go just like that we should be able to mount everything back up hopefully now we got to put our main screw back in here and that will help button things down And come on, I don't want to get too brutal on it. And of course, we got another number eight screw on the body. Other than that, the other two are number six for the pocket clip. And if we still got this, okay, so we're good. Looks like we're good. Okay, let's put this yahoo. And I never did kick these screws out of here. So long and short. The long and short of it is that we're going to put it back in. And I had a buddy that just took some of my rounded tips on my number six Torxes and just ground them off flat. So I kind of have a new usable surface. I'm kind of recycling number sixes as, as I can. And so that uh, so far, um, you, you kind of get a second use out of them. Uh, and they're not that expensive anyhow as just regular bits, but oh well. But why not? Why not if you can? If you've got a grinder out there, you probably can do that. See what I'm saying? And so then, yeah, I mean, uh, the other one, this thing was getting, see how that rounded tip is? But grind it off and you got a new one to get to go. Although you don't have that neck, you know, that length. So there's a new one. You can see, yeah, it's different, but it, it's working. So if, if it ain't broke, you know what I'm saying? Okay, now that's not bad. Uh, I don't know if I got a little bit. A little bit tough on it when I brought it down here. Yeah, let's let's back it up just a tad. I think we're good. Conspirator. Yes, it's good. I like it. Uh, it's my favorite of their button lock flipper Civivis so far. Is that qualified? Of the Civivis, of the Civivis that are button lock. Of the Civivis that are button lock flippers. <laughs> Just keep paring it down. Then it's my favorite. So far. That's a qualification as well. But no, I do. I, I This one's good. I think you'll like it if you put it in your hands. Um, I know I did. And I got this before the Texas Blade Show. And I got so busy with my knife sale and getting my ass to Texas. Didn't get a chance till I got back to put this on camera. But yeah, uh, it's definitely, I mean, definitely flipper friendly. I mean, super flipper friendly. Say that a bunch of times. Yeah, it is. I, I, yeah, if, if you like the button lock thing, and I, I think it's a refreshing change from liner lock and uh, frame lock. Yeah, it, it's, it's good to go. Take care, my friends. You know what we do? We love them knives. You guys stay sharp.